The 16-8 fasting is possibly the easiest weight loss and wellness method you could find. So, if you're watching this video, you're probably a beginner in this method, want to try it out and see for yourself how it'll benefit, right? So, we're here to give you 5 main steps on how to start 16-8 intermittent fasting and how not to fail in it at the very start. Step number 1. Understand how 16-8 works. Okay, so for those who are not sure what 16-8 really is, let us explain it a bit. Just to make sure we're on the same page. 16-8 is a form of intermittent fasting when you eat during the 8-hour window. During these 8 hours, you can eat all your meals and snacks, and the rest 16 hours, you fast. During your fasting window, you can only drink unsweetened drinks, such as water, tea, or coffee. But why should you choose intermittent fasting? Well, it's an effective way to lose weight, improve blood sugar, boost brain function, and increase longevity. Also, the 16-8 pattern is really flexible and easy to follow because you decide the most convenient timing of your eating and fasting windows. For example, you can eat between noon and 8 p.m., which means you'll only need to fast overnight and skip breakfast. It's super beneficial to stick with this form over the long term because without counting every single calorie, you're still losing weight. But as simple as it sounds, we know that it can be complicated at the very beginning, so let's move to another step. Step number two, fighting your hunger pangs. You might be struggling with your hunger at the very beginning of 16-8. We're not gonna lie, you will get hungry. It's simply because your body isn't used to going long periods without food. Think of your stomach as something that needs to be trained. It means fasting will be difficult, but after a three to five day transition, your body will become more comfortable without stuffing loads of food into your stomach. We strongly suggest keeping yourself busy to stay on track, especially at the very beginning. It's much easier to stick to your fast if you don't have tons of time to stack. Because come on guys, bored eating is bad eating. Step number three, drink loads of water. Okay, so another must thing to do during 16-8 fasting, drink your water. Even if you're not fasting, we're pretty sure you're not drinking enough of it, right? During fasting, it is really important to keep up your water intake. Water cleans out your whole system and effectively removes toxins from your body. Drinking water regularly can help you reduce calorie intake because people often mistake thirst for hunger. So here's the tip, drink at least eight glasses of water every day. Make sure you drink a glass of water first thing in the morning and before every meal. That's four glasses already. Later on, you'll notice that drinking water is turning into a habit. Step number four, avoid snacking by this simple step. All right, so raise your hand if you've ever gone to the movies after your eating window and suddenly wanted some snacks and a gallon of cola. Yep, same here. By choosing the hours when you eat, you may notice some patterns you didn't pay attention to before. Let's say you're the person who just loves to snack while watching TV. So if you're fasting, for example, after 7 p.m., you've automatically cut hours from your after dinner snacking. So how could you solve this problem? Easy as that, going to bed earlier. You see, building a steady and regular sleep schedule will help you minimize food cravings, improve metabolism, and will boost your weight loss results. Another thing, a regular sleep schedule will help you relieve your stress. High stress causes the body to store fat to protect itself. So by reducing stress, you will keep the pounds off. So get some sleep. Step number five, don't overindulge in unhealthy food. You've probably heard it before about fasting, eat whatever you want, or don't stop eating your favorite foods. This is true, but most of the time, people take this idea a little too far. Sure, you can have a burger once in a while, but having it every time during your fasting window will mess up all your results. While the 16-8 fasting doesn't specify which foods to eat and avoid, it's important to focus on healthful eating and to limit or avoid junk foods. You can eat what you want, but you still need to maintain a balanced diet full of vegetables, whole grains, and good fats that will keep you full. Make sure you eat enough to make it through your next fasting window. If you're really hungry because you didn't eat a full meal, you're much more likely to break your fast. Listen guys, just close your kitchen door after dinner, get more sleep, eat enough to make it through your next fasting window, and soon you'll notice positive results with your weight loss and overall health. In the beginning, intermittent fasting might be overwhelming. So today, we are sharing all the necessary information you'll need to kickstart a 16-8 intermittent fasting process. Okay, so you've chosen the 16-8 method, and let's say your plan is to start your new regime tomorrow. Your plan is 
Start your fast at 8 p.m. Skip breakfast. Have your first meal at 12 p.m. We chose this schedule as an example since most people prefer to skip breakfast and eat from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Such a timetable allows them to eat lunch and dinner with friends and family. Let's go through your evening before starting your intermittent fasting journey. Have your dinner around 5 to 7 p.m. We'd recommend it to be a low-carb, high-fat meal since it's going to help satiate you and kickstart you into the benefits of fasting a little bit sooner. During your dinner, drink a great amount of water because it'll help you to go through your fasting hours more easily. Right before your fasting window, around 7.30 p.m., take all of your vitamins and supplements if you are using them. The reason why you have to do this is because some supplements, such as fish oil or gummies, have calories and will break a fast. Also, you can eat some yogurt as a dessert before starting your fasting window. At 8 p.m., you start your fast. During your fasting window, you can only drink water, sugarless coffee, or tea with no added cream or milk. Extra tips. If you're used to eating your breakfast, there's no need to push yourself the first day until noon. It's perfectly fine to work your way up to it. Delay your breakfast for 30 minutes, then for an hour, and so on. Listen to your body and don't be hard on yourself. If you find it too difficult to skip breakfast, be flexible and try different fasting and eating windows. Each person's lifestyle is different, so don't be afraid to experiment. Okay, let's head to the morning when you'll fast until 12 p.m. When you wake up, drink at least one glass of water. If you still feel hunger pangs, drink another glass or more. Drinking tons of water throughout the day will keep you full. You can also have one or two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Taking apple cider vinegar while fasting may help fight food cravings. Keep in mind, it's very acidic, so you can dilute one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar into one cup of water. Then you can have your black coffee or tea. Again, without any sugar, milk, or cream. Okay, after this lovely morning ritual, you have some time before breaking your fast. During this time, try to keep yourself as busy as possible so you wouldn't have any temptations to sneak into your fridge. Some people enjoy having their exercise routine in the mornings, so let's talk about that a bit. The first week of fasting may be difficult since you're adapting to the new regime. You may feel dizzy and lack some energy. You might have to go easy on hitting the gym in the beginning or taking time off from your workouts just to get your body used to fasting. All right, so your fasting hours have passed and it's already 12 p.m. It's time to eat! While breaking your fast, you don't want to load up with a bunch of food. You need to do it strategically. We recommend starting your eating window with lean protein, such as chicken or turkey breast. Protein helps you lose weight by decreasing your energy intake, increasing satiety, and boosting metabolism. At 1 p.m. and then at 6 p.m., have your proper lunch and dinner meal. You want to make sure you're eating enough during your eating window. That will ensure you're not hungry the next day during your fasting window. It's super important to include protein, healthy fats, and complex carbs into your meals. Here's the list of foods that we strongly recommend to have during your eating windows. Take a screenshot and save it for the future. Okay, so as you can see, fasting may be a bit overwhelming if you're a beginner. So we made the list of what you need to remember before starting intermittent fasting. Figure out your meal plan. Meal planning does not need to be overly restrictive, but your meals need to be strategic and have all the proper nutrients. It's super important to track your water intake. Drinking water regularly can help you reduce your calorie intake and will help you avoid snacking throughout your eating window. Implement exercising into a regime strategically. Experiment when is the best time to do your workout, during fasting or eating windows. Track your weight. If your main goal is to lose weight, you want to track your weight to keep your motivation up. Weigh yourself at the same time every day, and don't weigh yourself more than once a day. Otherwise, it'll become an obsessive habit. Breaking a fast is not about getting yourself a big meal right away. It's about being strategic with your food choices. Let's have a quick look at what to eat and avoid while breaking your fast. Also, we'll give an ultimate tip on how to make your fasting experience easy and enjoyable. Let's go! Firstly, why is it so important to break your fast correctly? Well, when you break your fast, your body is really sensitive, so you have to be really aware of what you put in it at that point. 
you need to be very careful and restart your digestive system gently. So the best option is to break your fast with specific foods, and then after about 60 minutes to have your proper, more versatile meal. Let's head to the main points on how to break your fast correctly by choosing the right foods and what mistakes to avoid at all costs. And again, it's not your main meal. That's just a light warm up before it. What to eat to break your fast. Number one, have some apple cider vinegar. You should start with apple cider vinegar diluted in water before actually breaking the fast. Add one to two tablespoons to a glass of water and drink it before starting your eating window. This mix will start to stimulate your digestive tract, preparing it for food. Apple cider vinegar will also increase satiety and reduce the risk of overeating later in the day. Number two, consider breaking the fast with bone broth. So you had some apple cider vinegar, which is optional. What's next? Well, bone broth might be one of the best foods to break a fast. It contains a lot of electrolytes, magnesium, potassium, calcium, and sodium. Bone broth helps absorb nutrients from other foods more efficiently later on. All right, so apple cider vinegar and bone broth are good to go one after the other. The following foods are optional. Feel free to experiment with them and see which option works best for you. Number one, break your fast with lean protein only. It's not the one and only option for breaking your fast, but it's the most simple way to do it strategically. Break your fast with a piece of lean poultry or fish. You can also go with a protein shake mixed with water. Protein helps you lose weight by decreasing your energy intake, increasing satiety, and boosting metabolism. We know it may seem boring, especially when you're craving food after fasting hours, but you can't go wrong with sticking to lean protein only. Also, don't use lean red meat right when you break a fast. It's difficult to digest. Number two, break your fast with nuts and seeds. One trick some people use to avoid binge eating during the first meal and later on during the day is to break the fast with a handful of nuts or seeds. These include sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, almonds, cashews, and so on. It usually does the trick for taking the edge off hunger and helps to enjoy the full meal without overeating. Number three, break your fast with fermented foods. They are great for your gut bacteria. Eating fermented foods, such as sauerkraut or kefir, will help your digestive tract be repopulated with good bacteria and enzymes it was stripped off from the fast. Also, it'll make it easier for you to digest food, thanks to these probiotics. Number four, break your fast with avocado. Besides being an excellent fat source for weight loss, avocado is also among the best foods to break a fast. Avocado is ideal for preventing overeating after fasting. Especially after fasting for days, this can come incredibly handy. Avocado is rich in water-soluble fiber and fats and increases the absorption of nutrients from other foods after fasting. Okay, let's move forward. As we mentioned before, there are some no-nos while breaking the fast, so here's what you should avoid. Number one, don't mix fats and carbs in one meal. When you eat carbs, your body produces insulin. Insulin is like the key to your cells. It opens cells and allows glucose to enter. This means that when the door to your cell is open and glucose comes flowing in, fat enters too. Because of this, you significantly raise the chances of fat going into storage, resulting in weight gain. You can mix fats and carbs later on throughout the day, but not when you break your fast. Number two, avoid carbs on an empty stomach. Especially stay away from refined carbs. Since they are low in fiber and digested quickly, they can cause major swings in blood sugar levels. This can lead to overeating later on and may lead to weight gain. The only exceptions are fruits that are high in fructose and relatively low in glucose, such as pears, apples, mangoes, grapefruits, and strawberries. Number three, avoid lactose. Lactose is already difficult for a lot of people to digest, especially with aging. So don't break your fast with milk, yogurt, or ice cream. If you follow these do's and don'ts while breaking your fast, you'll get the most out of your fasting experience. Let's talk about the top five mistakes people make during intermittent fasting. These mistakes can ruin all the results and success you're looking for while fasting. 
let's jump straight into that. Mistake number one, jumping into intermittent fasting too quickly. We're often quick to rush into our new plans and goals, but at the end of the day, this leads to burnout and quitting. If you usually eat three full meals a day with snacks in between, diving headfirst into your chosen fasting plan may leave you feeling intensely hungry. The best way to avoid this problem is to gradually integrate intermittent fasting into your lifestyle. Warm yourself up by doing these steps. Try to cut out snacking in between meals. This way, your body will get used to going without extra food for a longer period of time. After quitting your snacks, build up to two meals a day with no snacks and so on, until you're fasting for at least 16 hours each day. Choose which fasting option is more suitable for you, skipping breakfast or dinner. For example, if you're used to eating your breakfast, there's no need to push yourself the first week until noon. It's perfectly fine to work your way up to it. Delay your breakfast for 30 minutes, then for an hour, and so on. If you find it too difficult to skip breakfast or dinner, be flexible and try different fasting and eating windows. Each person's lifestyle is different, so don't be afraid to experiment. Mistake number two, choosing the wrong drinks. People usually forget that they also need to keep track of what they're drinking. The first common mistake related to drinks is consuming too much coffee throughout the day. Most people drink way too much of it. Did you know that the average person gets around 300 milligrams of caffeine daily, not only from coffee, but also from tea, soft drinks, and energy drinks? Research shows that too much caffeine can increase your blood glucose levels and prolong those increases. This may make you less insulin sensitive and more likely to store fat. So watch your coffee intake. The second mistake is drinking too many diet drinks during your eating window. Despite their no-cal or low-cal sales pitch, they are full of artificial sweeteners. If your goal is to lose weight, drinking diet sodas can still work against your weight loss goals by increasing sugar cravings and hunger throughout the day. So stop your pop during intermittent fasting. Mistake number two and a half, not hitting that subscribe button on our channel and missing more videos about fasting. That's the mistake you can easily avoid, right? Mistake number three, not eating enough food. Most of us want the results to come quickly, and we're specifically talking about weight loss. The idea of intermittent fasting is that you eat less food overall because you eat fewer meals. However, people often forget that when you do eat, you should allow yourself to eat until you're full. People who want to lose weight as quickly as possible end up eating low carb, which is a good thing, but they also eat low fat and low protein. To put it simply, they're starving. You can't eat less of everything. It's not gonna work. If you don't eat enough for a longer time, you'll not only end up binge eating, you'll deprive your body of important nutrients which will lead to vitamin deficiencies. The perfect way to avoid this situation is by making yourself a suitable meal plan for non-fasting windows that includes balanced meals. It's super important to include protein, healthy fats, and low-carb foods in your meals. Here's the list of foods we strongly recommend including in your eating windows. Take a screenshot and save it for the future. Remember, intermittent fasting is a sustained lifestyle, and you will be more likely to succeed when you are relaxed and not putting pressure on yourself. Mistake number four, wrong food choices. Your food choices significantly impact your fasting success. There are two food groups you should pay attention to when building your fasting regimen. The first one is fats. We wanna make sure you're eating good fats, not bad fats that make your fasting less effective. So get rid of canola oil, vegetable oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil. Replace them with healthy fats such as olive and coconut oils, nuts and seeds, or avocados. Now let's head to the carbs. Carbs raise insulin, and the whole reason for doing fasting is to lower insulin. Also, a high amount of carbs will make you really hungry the next day. We want to avoid that. So make sure you're lowering your carb intake. However, even though we recommend eating just a small amount of them during your eating window, you still need to know which carbs you can consume in moderation. You need to swipe from refined carbs, such as bread, pasta, white rice, to whole carbs, like potatoes, vegetables, legumes, and beans. Mistake number five, not enough salt. When you're fasting and eating low carb, insulin levels drop, and it means you're losing more salt. Low sodium in your body can result in various different symptoms, such as headaches, cramps, and sleeping difficulties. So make sure you add electrolytes into your water to help replenish the depleted sodium. Electrolytes are often made up of a mixture of sodium, magnesium, potassium, and other minerals that people are often deficient in.
16-8 Intermittent Fasting and Hunger Pangs Sound familiar? Hunger can be the key factor that may make you want to quit all the fasting. Please don't, because today we're giving you 5 tips on how to reduce your hunger pangs during the 16-8 Intermittent Fasting Protocol. Before diving deeper into the tips, let us explain the difference between appetite and hunger. Appetite is the desire to eat, triggered by senses such as sights and smells, more emotions like boredom and stress, while hunger is a physical need to eat. When you're hungry, your body is sending you signals, like those rumbling stomach growls known as hunger pangs. Most people rarely reach a true state of hunger because their appetite keeps them consistently full. It's important for you to understand that it's okay to be hungry during intermittent fasting. It causes some temporary discomfort, but believe us, nothing bad will happen. Feelings of hunger come in waves, and they generally last around 15 or 20 minutes. If you patiently wait it out, it passes. However, we know that the initial phase of fasting are definitely the most challenging. So here are the top essential tips and tricks that will help you avoid hunger pangs and carry on with the 16-8 fasting. So, let's dig into that. Tip number one, add enough minerals to your diet. When you fast, you reduce your insulin levels. Insulin holds on to sodium, so when insulin goes down, you start to lose sodium as well. By making sure your body gets enough minerals such as sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium, you will get your hunger under control. To make things easier for you, here is a list of foods you should eat during your eating window to get enough minerals and avoid hunger pangs during fasting hours. Tip number two, drink green tea. You probably already know that drinking lots of fluids during your fasting window keeps you less hungry, since thirst can often be confused with hunger. But we specifically recommend drinking green tea, and here's why. Green tea contains two compounds that contribute to weight loss properties, caffeine and catechins. Caffeine is a well-known stimulant that increases fat burning and suppresses appetite, while catechins boost metabolism and reduce fat. Also, we strongly recommend drinking matcha green tea. Matcha is baby green tea leaves rich in flavonoids and has a greater amount of caffeine and antioxidants. When it comes to your tea, you can add a bit of capsaicin in it. One 2014 study showed that people who ate red pepper with every meal felt increased satiety and had fewer cravings. The study results suggested that adding capsaicin to your diet can suppress your appetite. Start with a small dose, around a quarter of a teaspoon, and see how your body reacts. However, you shouldn't overindulge in capsaicin, since it may give you tummy aches, especially if you have a sensitive stomach. Tip number three, try fenugreek. Fenugreek seeds, which smell and taste like maple syrup, are mainly used in cooking and medicine. It is also the ideal choice for the 16-8 intermittent fasting. One tablespoon of fenugreek has around 6 grams of carbs, and it surprisingly suppresses appetite. Try to have it with your last meal before starting your fasting window since it's most effective at the early stage of a fast. Fenugreek works by slowing stomach emptying and delaying carb and fat absorption. This means that you'll feel fuller for a longer period of time. Tip number four, combine the 16-8 intermittent fasting with the keto diet. If you're not an amateur in fasting, you probably keep hearing this phrase, what you eat is just as important as when you eat. We know it sucks because it would be way more fun just not to eat during those 16 hours. And during the eight hour eating period, stuff your tummy with, um, everything. Sad Sadly enough, it doesn't work that way. Yes, intermittent fasting has its own benefits without cutting out your favorite meals from your menu. But what we want to say here is that fasting is even more effective once you combine it with a low-carb, high-fat diet. You see, carbs are less satiating. You can have a huge bowl of pasta, but a few hours later you'll be hungry again. That's not going to happen if you eat protein and fat. To sum up, carbs make you hungrier. They also increase insulin levels while fasting decreases them. So you basically tug yourself back and forward, making fasting a bit less effective. Tip number five, smell the dark chocolate. We aren't even joking. The research shows that smelling dark chocolate correlated with decreased levels of the hunger hormone ghrelin. We can't guarantee that it 100% works, but maybe you're the lucky one who can basically just smell dark chocolate and feel full in no time. Just try it, it won't hurt. Don't know what to eat during intermittent fasting? Get the most out of your weight loss journey with this ultimate list of top 10 foods to eat during intermittent fasting. Number one, avocados. Most people tend to overeat after fasting. Can you relate to that? So this fatty fruit is an ideal tool for preventing overeating after fasting. Avocado is easily digestible and impresses with its significantly increased saturation. One study shows that people who ate avocados are one-third less hungry even five hours after the meal. And it gets better. The avocados rich in water-soluble fiber and fats increase nutrient absorption from other foods after fasting. The research shows that avocados or avocado oil in salad lead to the absorption of approximately three to five times more antioxidants and carotenoids. 
So bring those little green bastards to your menu now. Number 2. Seafood The dietary guidelines for Americans suggest eating 2 to 3 4-ounce servings of fish per week. Seafood is packed with nutrients, especially omega-3 fatty acids. These unique acids stimulate fat burning and prevent further fat deposits, so they are ideal for intermittent fasting. People who normally eat more omega-3 reduce their risk of heart disease, dementia, and depression. Salmon, shrimp, and trout are some perfect nutrient-dense choices. Fatty fish is also rich in healthy fats as well as protein, and it contains ample amounts of vitamin D. Number 3. Cruciferous Veggies We strongly recommend incorporating these veggies into your diet. Alright, so sulforaphane, a sulfur-rich compound found in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, or cabbage, provides powerful health benefits. Cruciferous veggies have more fiber to aid in digestion. They also help you feel fuller and may even help reduce high blood pressure. But there is more. One study even found that the sulforaphane in broccoli and broccoli sprouts decreased the cancer stem cell markers in 65-80% to 80 of human breast cancer cells. God, it's only a veggie, but it works in mysterious ways. Number 4. Berries Keep in mind that you want to avoid overloading on fruits. They're beneficial but contain a lot of natural sugar that interferes with insulin levels. That's why berries are a better choice because they are highly nutritious and work as antioxidants. By the way, a 2016 study found that people who consumed a whole bunch of blueberries or strawberries had smaller increases in body mass index over a 14-year period than people who didn't eat berries. Another study shows that eating 150 grams of blueberries daily reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease by up to 15%. The research team said that blueberries and other berries should be included in your diet to reduce the risk of this disease, especially if you're in a risk group. Number 5. Nuts Okay, nuts may be higher in calories than many other snacks, but they have something special that most snacks don't good fats, and don't worry about calories. One interesting study found that a 1 ounce serving of almonds, about 23 nuts, has 20% fewer calories than listed on the label. Also, the study shows that chewing doesn't completely break down almond cell walls. This leaves a portion of the nut intact, and your body doesn't absorb it through digestion. So if you're a fan of nuts, they might not ruin your daily calorie intake as you thought. Number 6. Whole grains. Alright, you might think, what the hell are carbs doing on this list? Now listen, whole grains are one of the most important food groups to include when practicing intermittent fasting. Whole grains are another good protein source that is also rich in fiber. So eating small portions of whole grains keeps you full for a longer time. So if you crave pasta, cereal, rice, or bread, just choose whole grain ones. Also, give a chance for such foods as sorghum, spelt, or kamut, and maybe you'll find something that fits your taste and your new eating style. Number 7. Eggs. Well, these are definitely rich in proteins. Can you imagine? One large egg provides 6.24 grams of protein, and they're super easy to prepare. Eating more protein helps satisfy your hunger longer. It also helps you build muscle that is needed to boost your metabolism. Egg yolks are full of A, B, D vitamins, and healthy fats. By the way, one study found that men who ate an egg for breakfast instead of a bagel were less hungry and ate less throughout the day. Number 8. Beans and Legumes We're not telling you to eat carbs to ridiculous levels, but it definitely wouldn't hurt to throw some low-calorie carbs like beans and legumes into your menu. Black beans, chickpeas, and peas are not only good for increasing your energy, but are also a good source of protein. Also, the benefits of eating beans and legumes are scientifically proved. One research showed that foods like chickpeas, black beans, peas, and lentils have been shown to decrease body weight even without calorie restriction. Number 9. Vegetables We've already talked about cruciferous veggies, but let's not ignore the benefits of other vegetables. The government's 2020 to 2025 Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommend that for a 2,000 calorie a day diet, most people should eat 2.5 cups of vegetables on a daily basis. Also, one research emphasized the benefits of leafy greens such as kale or spinach. It shows that a diet rich in leafy greens may reduce your risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer, cognitive decline, and more. Leafy greens are also an excellent choice as they supply lots of nutrients and fiber. Number 10. Water Okay, this isn't technically a food, but it's super important for getting through intermittent fasting. Drinking at least 8 cups of water per day will prevent dehydration and also promote better blood flow. Most importantly, water will help you feel less hungry during the fasting hours. Score! Drinking pure water is allowed at any time during fasting, but what about water with a little bit of lemon? Go for it! Lemon water doesn't break fast, and it increases the feeling of fullness, which helps curb your hunger during fasting. So drink your water!